Hi there, and welcome to St Bartholomew's Hospital in central London. My name's Chris, um, I'm an ex-student at St Margaret Ward, um, and I've been asked today to do a little bit of a video to take you through um, the radiotherapy department and explain a little bit about uh, what I do uh, as, a, as a clinical radiation physicist. So here you find me inside a linear accelerator bunker, and this is, this is where I spend some of my time as a radiation physicist. Um, so inside the bunker we have um, a huge piece of uh, equipment called the linear accelerator um, which uh, throws uh, electrons uh, down a waveguide which accelerates them really, really quickly and they smash into a target and generate lots of high energy uh, radiation which we use to treat patients' cancer. So it's my job and, and uh, the job of the people in my team to make sure that that radiation we're delivering um, as part of the doctor's prescription uh, to treat that patient's cancer um, is both accurate and precise and we're going to do it safely. So that's a huge part of my job um, is keeping patients safe and also um, the development of new techniques, the implementation of new techniques um, as well. So here you find me inside the uh, treatment room. So the patient would normally lie on the couch here, and this is the treatment head, so this is where those high energy x-rays come out of the, out of the head and, and shine onto the patient and, uh, and, and treat their cancer. But it's very complicated, the stuff that's inside the head of the machine, it's really important that all of, that, that, that all of those bits of kit, those separate bits of kit, um, work well together uh, to create the right dose uh, of radiation inside that patient. And it's part of our job to make sure each bit of, the, each bit of that kit is, is functioning correctly. We also have on this side um, an imaging arm. So this, this bit of kit here takes pictures of the, of the patient, inside the patient, uh, with uh, diagnostic quality x-rays so that we can really make sure that we're treating the right bit of the patient. And it's, as I said, it's super important that all of that kit um, works closely together and that's another really important part of our job. So you might not expect it, but actually the, the stuff that you learn as part of your GCSC and A-level programme um, is really important, a really important base um, for working as a, as a clinical uh, scientist um, in, a, in a broad setting. So all of those skills that you learn um, for problem solving, um, all of those kind of math skills that, that, you, that you get to know about during the A-level programme, if you're, if you're doing uh, A-level maths with physics, which I, which I would recommend, um, all of those skills come into play very, very often you know, in the life of a kind of real um, radiotherapy physicist. Um, and additionally, the A-level, of course, serves as a springboard to what you can do later on. Um, so whether you want to go into a degree programme, that you might want to do a science, a science degree, uh, those A-levels would be really important. Um, but also, if you wanted to stop formal education just after your A-levels, there's lots of opportunities now to work in the health service and, and in other services um, as, as an apprentice, as an apprentice um, if you wanted to take that route. So that's it, that's the end of the tour. Um, I hope that the video has been really helpful in you guys uh, making some decisions about your future, uh, whether you go on to the physics A-level or, or any other type of physics. Um, and if you're still interested in doing any kind of medical physics, I'd really recommend you contacting your local hospital, uh, the Royal Stoke uh, or, or any others, um, to uh, get in touch with them and ask them if they have any uh, places for work experience, either within the radiotherapy department or within diagnostic imaging or, or radiation protection. Bye for now.